Hey, many fish. It is the 15th of August, 2018. And, uh, phew, this is, this is an average morning, to be quite honest with you. It, but it's raining right now, so I actually have time and I can sit here and, and take my time and show you this because it's fascinating. And, and I believe that it may be showing the beginning of the fall of Babylon. And I'll try and explain that to you. Um, the first thing I saw when I was looking at some of these articles here were the structure of this bridge. And it just hit me as they are arches. That's just what my, what I saw, you know, what came to me is that where this collapsed, right in the middle of it was one of these arches, these supports here. And that's just crazy beyond understanding how that thing would collapse, but it did. And this is a huge disaster. I mean, this is like a really, really big deal. I mean, really. I don't know how many died. It's all over the place. But this is a very, very serious situation here. And like I say, as soon as I saw it, I thought of arches. And right away it comes right into my spirit you know well what about the arches well we know about many of the arches the arch of titus i've talked about you know pretty extensively i know i'm kind of all over the place sometimes but you know i i do try and it's uh it's twin essentially the arch of washington in new york uh with all the uh craziness behind it and remember the Arch of Palmyra that went to New York and uh, sat right across the road, essentially, from the Trade Towers. Uh, the World Trade Towers would have sat right over here, right behind this arch. And they had their little private uh, ceremony here to uh, worship it, essentially. They let people walk through it and everything. But this is what I think of when I see these arches. And this is in Italy, okay? Now, me personally, the way I interpret Babylon, I mean, it means essentially the, the world. I mean, the whole world is eating from her delicacies, if you could say, right? But it is Rome. I mean, even Peter, and this is the way I interpret this, if I could find, I got so much scripture here, you guys, it's pretty crazy. But uh, 1 Peter 5.13 when he's it's final greetings they call this section here but he says the church that is at babylon elected together with you saluteth you so he's writing from babylon which is rome i believe that that's what peter's referring to here he's calling rome babylon okay greet ye one another with a kiss and then i'm looking at these arches and i think rome and i think arch of titus I've done stuff on that many times. I think I just showed you an image of that a second ago. Yep, right there. That's in Rome. So, of course, I got to go to the maps. And this is just really pretty crazy, to be honest with you. If I could find the Arch of Titus here, you're just going to have to bear with me, okay? Well, we'll go here. And from the Arch of Titus, this is just how it works with me, you guys. <laughs> right? Right here in Rome is the old Rome, the Colosseum. There's the Arch of Titus right there, right? So I go from the Arch of Titus, but not to the bridge in Genoa. Where I go is another bridge that was in, um, what do you call it? Uh, Bologna. And now my computer's freezing up. It's crazy. There was another massive, huge explosion in Bologna last week just eight days before this bridge collapse right i mean this was bad it it just really did some damage man that was crazy but it was basically it's also on a bridge this suspended highway in bologna and so of course i take to the maps and again my computer all of a sudden wants to freeze up but i take to the maps and i go from that arch of titus to the explosion in Bologna because they're happening in an order and I'm thinking the fall of Babylon is happening is beginning here this is what's in my mind 
You know, it's the best I can do. Uh, so I go to that incident, and I look at the uh, the distance between it. So that would be from Titus to Bologna. That's that's that line right there, right? And I look at the properties, and it's 191 miles. 911. This is exactly what pops into my mind. Now I go from that incident to the one in uh, Genoa that just happened yesterday. I go right to it, right to that arch. Okay, right to the arch. This is the whole section that fell out, and that was right in the middle. Okay, so that line right there would be... Let me just make sure this one right here. So we look at those properties and it's 119 miles. Now, this is not a coincidence. I know this, but I just give it to you because I don't know exactly what it means. But 119 miles, okay? And so the next thing that comes into my mind is that a lot of you will probably remember, or maybe you won't, but uh, back or in 2016, the Arch of Palmera made its rounds around the world in all the financial centers and cultural centers, you know. And it made it to New York. And when it was in New York, if, if the trade towers were still standing, you'd see them over in this area pretty much right beyond that arch right there, right? And towards the end of its tour of the world, actually at the end of its tour, it wound up in a place called Arona, Italy. That's where the last place that we were able to trace it, at least I was, and that was it. It lived there for quite a while. So what do I do? I go from uh, Genoa, from the bridge in Genoa, to Arona, which is north of Genoa. And this is where the Arch of Palmera was last known to be displayed in any meaningful way at least to me it's the last place it was known to be and so i draw that line and look at these um, properties dimensions 92.9 miles 911 911 now this is just what i see guys and this line and that's as far as i've gotten but i'm guessing that this line, if this is the beginning of the fall of Babylon, which I believe it just might be, Revelation 18, right? Okay. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great has fallen, has fallen, has become the habitation of devils of every foul spirit i mean we're talking about the world but it all emulates from rome i'm telling you just like what peter was saying it it babylon is rome but it also is spiritually essentially the world just like in uh what is the bible verse i had up here where the two witnesses that would be revelations and i don't have it here but the two witnesses, and they lie dead in the streets of what is spiritually Sodom and Egypt. So this is a spiritual entity here that can be identified as Egypt, of course. That's the like the roots of it. And Babylon as well. And Rome as well. And New York as well. And London. And even right down to Jerusalem. Okay? Because that is not being run by godly people right now jerusalem is not and so i'm just guessing and i'm assuming and i'm gonna find out if i keep continuing these patterns with this line <laughs> it's gonna go all the way around the world and connect to these various obelisks and go straight over to america which i mean the things that i'm finding here and seeing here in relation to all these satanic place markers and memorials and vanities that are everywhere this lines up exactly with the uh eastern seaboard coming straight from uh the last link in europe the london obelisk the london ancient egyptian obelisk the same one same one that paris has 
and it goes on and on. So, I mean, is this line, is this the beginning of the fall of Babylon? I don't know. It says it falls in an hour, in a day. And that could be a season, it could be a week, it could be anything. But is this the beginning of what we're seeing? You know, that's my thinking. So, you know, this is the type of stuff I see pretty much every morning. But, you know, lately things have just been put before me and and they require my attention in other places. And I, I do miss y'all and I love y'all and I want to share everything that I see. You know, that's the will of the Father that we all share. His glory, I mean, that's what it's all about. It's all about the glory of God and the blood of Jesus. And I'm just saying that this is showing me that we may be seeing the beginning of the fall of Babylon. And you pile on top of it all the hundreds of priests and bishops and everything that are going down. Look at this. By 301 priests, 13, 31, I pull up Isaiah, <laughs> Isaiah uh, 13, 9, 11 in a random Bible verse this morning. <laughs> this is no lie. I'm just telling you, this is like, this is, this is not normal, but it's normal for me. And I'm telling you, when, when you're seeking the truth, when you're seeking the face of God, when you want to know the ways of Jesus, from a humble heart, man, this, this is what he gives us. He, he shows us. He, he proves himself to us. And our spirits are just soaring with joy and sorrow because we know what's coming. And if you're not in Christ, sorrow is coming. Great sorrow. And you don't want to have to experience that. And you won't if you're under the wing of the Savior, man. So seek Jesus because he's the truth. He is the Savior, the only one, I'm telling you. So keep an eye on this for sure, but that's crazy stuff, I got to say. I mean, that's just crazy. Look at that. Look at the exact exactitude between that arch and this arch. Look at that. That's the Arch of Washington. That's the Arch of Titus. So you tell me that Rome is not... Uh, Babylon. You tell me that Rome isn't uh, Egypt and it has spread its disgusting fornication all over the world. Okay, The merchandise of gold and silver and the souls of men. Babylon has fallen. Come out of her, my people. Come out of her. For one hour, so great riches is come to naught. One season, an instant, get right with Jesus. Peace and grace to y'all. Any fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 